Alright, so today I'm going to teach you the basics of carburation. Um, this is just going to be a fundamentals video, nothing repair, and it just so happens that I have a Tecumseh Auto Magic carburetor. Now, the way that a carburetor works is there's an inlet here. This is a gravity fed carburetor, by the way. There's an inlet where fuel, the fuel tank positioned higher than the carburetor so that fuel can flow through this inlet goes down to the bottom of the carburetor which this part here is called the bowl and there's a needle here which is attached to a float now the float would uh, lower and rise depending on the fuel level and the reason why it does that is because you cannot have fuel from a gravity fed system turned on all the time or else the engine would flood out so basically the the purpose of the float is to rise have a needle and a seat and the needle closes off the passageways to allow fuel into the system now we're going to remove the bowl nut here which this is a one half drive but it doesn't uh, really pertain to anything now this is a jet um, it's also the bull nut and the way that this works is when the fuel comes in it would go through these passageways which you can see there's passageways on each side of the jet as well as a small one there and one in the center and this would connect to an emulsions tube which we'll get to later on and basically the fuel would be sucked in through here up it would go straight up and into the venturi of the carburetor Now this is the float. On Tecumseh's, you want the float to be perfectly level all the way across. It can't be like this or like that. It has to be perfectly level. That's how they work. So to take the float off, there's a pin here. Which, this one's trying to, trying to be a pain there. There's the needle, which is attached to the float just by a little spring and the needle goes inside this passageway here you can see the seat at the bottom so what I was talking about before was this bowl nut acting as a jet now the way that this acts as a jet is because you can see that passageway and the fuel would go through there and go up into the emulsions tube which you can see in there, that little blue, bluish color pipe. So if we want to take out the emulsions tube, we can simply press it out with a flathead screwdriver, give it a good tap, and out comes the emulsions tube. You can see how it corresponds to the bowl nut here those two fit together there's an o-ring around here and those two work together now other parts on the carburetor we got the butterfly valve which controls the fuel and the airflow we have the engine speed control screw which opens or closes whoops the throttle mechanism venturi which is smaller to allow atomized fuel and air to enter the engine via low pressure vacuum primer which sucks in air and forces fuel in through the passageways on the carburetor to allow fresh fuel to enter the engine to ease and starting since these uh, carburetors don't have a choke this here is another jet which doesn't really do anything so we won't really talk about it basically it's just another passageway in the carburetor with no adjustments these are auto magic carburetors they have no adjustments which means they have to be very very clean to work um, that's pretty much it on the fundamentals of these carburetors alright so we got the carburetor all back together here if you have any questions on anything in this video or anything small engine just PM me um, I am on my way to become a small engine mechanic 
And uh, thanks for watching. And this was another video by Pimpin' Pens. Take it easy, guys.